as a kingdom warrior god has told you to fear not you should not be afraid of all the things that the enemy is planning against you all the arrows that the enemy is sending your way why because god is your protection as long as you are abiding under the shadow of the most high god you cannot be harmed you cannot be touched you cannot be destroyed do you know that the prodigal son when he was still in the palace of his father he was well protected he had everything that he needed but when he went away from his father's presence that's when he became susceptible to famine to attacks from the enemy and to all manner of perils so as long as we are in the presence of god we must know that we are shielded god is our strong tower god is our defense god is our protection god is our helper in fact in psalms 121 we are told i will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber behold he that keepeth israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the lord is thy keeper the lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not see my thee by day nor the moon by night the lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore amen so you see that god has promised protection for all his children we are told in psalms 91 that even though eight thousands are falling at our right hand and ten thousands all around us we cannot be destroyed as long as we are abiding under the shadow of god we are protected and god will satisfy us with long life so why are we afraid why are we afraid of the enemy god created all the beings in this world even the enemies that you are afraid of god created them is he not power mighty enough to save you to deliver you fear not dear child of god your father is telling you not to fear you know faithful is he who has called you who is able to keep you till the end god is able to preserve you to protect you from every arrows of darkness from every power of the enemy when you are asleep god is fighting your sin and unseen battles god is defending you god is your shield he is your shelter for his name's sake he is protecting you because you are precious in his sight is what says in isaiah 43 that he will give up nations for you because you are precious in his sight you are his child you are his child in whom he is well pleased so i want you to always remember that you are not alone god is with you god cannot give you a mission that he knows you cannot accomplish he cannot give you a destiny that he knows you cannot fulfill it that is why you must stay with god you must partner with him in order to birth forth great mysteries in order to birth forth great results in order to lead a life of fulfillment in order to bring god glory and show for this praise you need not be afraid you know when god has sent you know that he will make provision for all that you need god is there to protect you to defend you the bible says that even when men rise up against you you should not bother what you are going to say because the spirit of god will put the words in your mouth the words that will defend you the words that will vindicate you he is your advocate god is your present help in time of need the bible says that some trust in their chariots, some trust in their horses but you as a kingdom warrior you will trust in the lord who made the heavens and the earth the sustainer of the galaxies the god who owns the earth and the fullness thereof he is able to help you he is able to save you he is able to deliver you he is able to show you mercy he is able to bless you he is able to favor you he is able to raise up men and women to stand in the gap for you he is able to do you good all your life trust in the lord with all your heart know that god's thoughts for you are thoughts of good to bring you to an expected end of peace you don't need to fear what man can do unto you you don't need to fear what the enemy will do unto you the bible says that cursed are those who put their trust in the arm of flesh so you must learn to put your trust in god because god will never fail you god will never disappoint you god will never give up on you in the midst of the storm he will say peace be still and they will be calm you know the winds will cease all the boisterous wind will stop and he will take you to the shore peacefully he will help you to fulfill destiny for his glory so by all means always remember that god has told you to fear not because he is with you you are not trusting in your strength you are trusting in the strength of the lord you are not trusting your ability to protect yourself you are trusting in god's ability to protect you you are not trusting in your own human understanding you are trusting in god's understanding because god is bigger god is greater god is better god is higher god knows it all god has it all the bible makes us to understand that 
God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom. So if God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, is it not wisdom enough that you should rest in God, that you should hide yourself in God, that you should come under the protection of God? God is able to protect you. The Bible says that even through the valley of the shadow of death, God will be with you. God will protect you. He is your shepherd. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ever ask or think. You know you are secured in God. You are safe in God. God can be trusted. Rest in God. Rely on God and all will go well. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of those people who are pursuing you. Stop being afraid of those arrows of the enemy. Stop being afraid of those challenges. Stop running away from your destiny. Stop running away from the purpose and plan of God for your life. You see, Jonah was trying to run away but God did all he could in order to bring Jonah to Nineveh so that Jonah could preach a word of repentance and the people would repent and surrender their hearts to God. Jonah never wanted to do it because he feared that the people might actually repent you know and return to God and God will forgive them but maybe in your case you are just not doing the work of God because you were afraid you are afraid that you are not good enough you are not eloquent enough just like Moses was afraid that he was not eloquent enough and even in the midst of this complaints God gave him Aaron his brother to see him through his ministry but I want you to know that any kind of fear you might be facing you know internally externally fear because of what society has said about you all the things you've learned from your environment or just the naysayers or those who are suppressing and oppressing you just putting fear in your heart and you just have some people bullying you with their words with their actions my dear trust in God hide yourself in God and remember that greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world so why should you be afraid why should you fear what man can do unto you who is he that will say a thing and it comes to pass when the lord has not established it it's time for you to find rest in god and to know that there is no need for you to fear because god will do it for you god will shield you god will defend you stand still and see the salvation of your god god will make a way for you he will make every crooked path straight he will make rivers to flow through every wilderness in your life and God will make you to be an exceedingly fruitful nation. You know you'll be as fruitful as the garden of the Lord and the Lord will do you good. The Lord will do your children and your great grandchildren good. He will do your lineage good because you have chosen to serve him. So my friend, fear not. Stand in the place where God has placed you to be. Do what God has called you to do. You know and God will definitely give you the victory in Jesus name. God will see you through in Jesus name. Do not be afraid of man. Do not be afraid of the enemy be afraid of the living God do not fear the one who can kill only the body but fear the one who can kill the body and cast the soul to eternal damnation so just fear God the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom fear God only never fear man never fear the enemy because God is on your side and God will definitely see you through as you reverence him as you trust in him as you abide under his shadow and as you just stay under his cover you are forever protected and no one can pluck you out of your father's presence in jesus name thank you so much for watching this episode of the kingdom warrior with me your sister friend and host ruth makochi saji please i encourage you to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you are always the first to be notified of all the contents that we place on this channel also if this content has been a blessing to you please share it to as many people and platforms as you can so that you can be a blessing to them and the most high god will bless you immensely in jesus name thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode